Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about getting the input from the keyboard. So in this example of addition, we talked about adding two different numbers and in that numbers that we are adding has been provided in the program itself. So those these are the numbers which are hard coded in the program. So tomorrow, let's say I don't want to add these numbers. I wanted to go ahead and add another two numbers. So in that case, I have to come to this program and make changes and run, rerun this program. But I this is not a good way to do the right way of programming. So in this class, we will talk about getting an input from the keyboard and then performing some computations on that. So let's say in that case, we have a very simple example is called a scanner class. We will use something called as a scanner class in our program. So for example, we can go ahead and create a new class and the name of the class is scanner test. It also has a main method. We go ahead and click finish here. So here, now we want an in input from the keyboard. So the, we will go ahead and create a scanner class. Now what is the scanner class? The scanner class is a class that has been provided to you by Java itself. So Java has given you that API or bunch of classes and just for you to use them. And scanner class is one of them. So we need to go ahead and create the, in, uh, the object of scanner. So to do that is equals to scanner s is equals to new scanner. And now you're going to go ahead and ask the keyboard. So this is an input stream system dot in is representing that. Okay, we are taking the input from the keyboard. So whatever a user is typing in the keyboard, we are going to go ahead and scan it. So you'll see an error here. Right click on the error, do a quick fix here and you're going to go ahead and import this. So you're telling your Java machine to get the scanner class. So this scanner class is not written by me. This class has been written by Java programmers itself and that particular class is present in Java and I'm just using that particular class in my program. So here we are going to go ahead and say we created an object and let's say we're asking the user to enter two numbers. So here we'll say system So when the user enters two numbers, we need two variables to store those numbers. So let's say int number one and int number two. So you, since they are both are the same type, you can always declare them like this. Now, number one is equals to whatever the input that we came is going to be retrieved. So it's an integer value. So whatever the user has typed, go ahead and get it into the, put it into the number one. So this is the way of writing our first program. Now let's say we're going to go ahead and get the other number also. So here I'll say enter the second number. And when the user enters the second number, I wanted to store that number into this variable called number two. Since the number is going to be an integer, we're going to go ahead and get it, put it into the number one. So now the operation that I wanted to perform is addition of number one and number two. The output of that program, I wanted to store in another variable called as sum. So here we can say sum is equals to number one plus number two. And here I'll go ahead and display the value of the sum. So now when you run the program, you will be the one who will be providing the numbers. So when you have to provide different values, you can go ahead and rerun this program. So let's go ahead and run the program, execute this run as Java application. So now the keyboard is asking you to enter the first number. So I'm enter, let's say 10. Now it's asking me for entering the second number. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and enter 20. So the output is going to be 30 here. So now I don't have to come back in the program and make changes. I can all I can always go ahead and rerun the program and give different values here. So here, let's say the first number is 19. The second number I wanted to give is 40 and you need to press an enter key. Once you press the enter key after this, 
the value of the sum is 59. So based on what numbers you are providing through the keyboard, you will get different different results. So this is an example of using the scanner class. In our next tutorial, we will do another example to understand the scanner class a little more better. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.